All right, y'all, here's my bookcase tour. This is the smaller bookcase that I have. And you've seen this before when I did this record uh, record collection video. So uh, we're going to skip the record part because I showed this part already. But obviously this is everything. Uh, so I'll just start with random shelves on here and end this video quickly. Because it's not as big as the other shelves so it's easier to maneuver. Okay. Uh, these books here were books that were given to me by uh, a patient of mine, his wife, that I used to take care of um, when I was still living in New York City. And uh, she's a very nice lady, and he is a very nice gentleman. I actually got to call them when I get a chance to see how they're doing. But anyways, they gave me these uh, Reader's Digest books here. Uh, these are... Reader's Digest condensed books. So it's basically random books that they kind of condensed in size to make it easier for the person or whatever. Um, and then this is A Quiet Voyage Home by Richard Jessup. I have yet to read these books. Um, you've seen these books before, American Psycho and the Rules of Attraction. I did read American Psycho. It was very disturbing, but yeah, well, that's a whole other story. Uh, Naked Lunch and Junkie. I've showed these books before when I first bought them by William S. Burroughs. I finished Junkie, uh, maybe like two months ago. Very good book, but it's very disturbing once again. Uh, William S. Burroughs, God Rest His Soul, was a very deep writer. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Uh, Robert Frost's poems. I think I showed that one before too. And Small Plates by Catherine Hall Page. I actually found this book at a bus station for free. And I decided to snag it because it looked pretty interesting. I have yet to read it though. Uh, I've shown these books before. Uh, Schizophrenia for Dummies, Idiot's Guides to Psychology. Geometry for Dummies, Chemistry for Dummies, Complete Idiot's Guide to Learning Italian. I have to relearn it after kind of um, falling behind on it since I last took it in junior high school. Uh, chess for Dummies, I've shown this book before with the chess board that I had bought um, in the previous video, of course. The Essential Yorkshire Terrier, well, the Essential Guide for Yorkshire Terriers or whatever. I love dogs, I love animals, and Yorkies are one of my favorite breeds, so yeah. I didn't buy this one though, uh, this was the other book that I found at the bus station with the previous book. Uh, Jesus is Son by Dennis Johnson, I had read some of this in college, we had to read it for a class, uh, so this is my personal copy that I bought, I think I showed it in a previous video before one of my books collection videos or something uh, or pick up book um pick up videos or whatever um very good book it's just too short that's the only thing i hate about it Requiem for a dream finally finished it last exit of book brooklyn ah last exit last exit to brooklyn um i've read maybe the first four or five chapters after finished the rest both good books both disturbing um Rest in peace, Hubert Selby Jr., another good author from back in the day, along with William S. Burroughs and Hunter S. Thompson and a whole bunch of people. Uh, Basketball Diaries and Force Entries, both diary collections of Jim Carroll. Rest in peace to him, too. Uh, Michelle Obama's book, Becoming. I'm almost finished with it. I love it. Uh, wonderful book. Wonderful insight into everything that happened in Michelle's life. And she talks a lot about the presidency with her husband, Mr. Obama. Um, very good book. Like I said, I got to finish. I think I'm down to the last few chapters, so I got to finish it soon. Complete Poetry, Maya Angelou. I love Maya Angelou. May she rest in peace. Collected Poems of Langston Hughes, James Baldwin's. Jimmy's Blues and other poems, and a couple of collections of James Baldwin's books, earlier novels and stories, later novels, and collected essays. 
This is his first few novels, like Go Telling on a Mountain, etc., etc. I believe If Bill Street Could Talk is in the later novels. I have finished If Bill Street Could Talk. Oh, and uh, Giovanni's Room. I have finished If Bill Street Could Talk, Giovanni's Room, Go Tell on a Mountain. Those are the three that I finished. I got to finish the rest of his books, which is why I have all of his books in one collection here. The Hate You Give, I have yet to read it. How Stella Got a Groove Back, still got to read it. But I did finish Wayne the Exhale and the sequel, Then the Happy, I read. Hidden Figures, I showed that before, Dear White People, no offense to anybody, uh, I read it, and of course I have the movie, and I have Wayne the Exhale. Uh, for Color Girls, I showed that book a long time ago, need I say more, Black Klansman, no offense to anybody, <laughs> it's just the name of the book, finally read it, very good book, She's Gotta Have It, in no relation to the film. I read it. It was a really good book. I think. Um, well, I read a little bit of it, I should say. I didn't read the whole entire thing, but I read a little bit of it. It's, it's a really good book, but yeah. African Art. Um, I have to finish reading that one, too. This is Get Your Career in Order. Um... This lady was actually on Judge Judy, <laughs> and that's how I found out about her book, ironically. So, yeah. Um, this is like the religious section. Oh, that's, that's just a picture of me when I was a kid. <laughs> Very embarrassing. I'm going to take that down. Um, <laughs> this is like religious stuff. The Bible. Um, this is a study Bible, and this is the New Testament, I believe. Uh, children's Letters to God. I had this book since I was a child. And I, I love it. It's very special to me. And, uh, you know, random stuff. Uh, that's my book light. This is another book light. And this is basically like medical related stuff. Uh, these books I had in college when I was taking a uh, medical assistant. As with the drug guide. Um, is help me now that I'm a home health aide slash resident care aide, and it definitely comes in handy when it comes to, you know, medical stuff, especially when it comes to medications, because I administer medications too. Yeah. Um, this is a drug guide. I actually bought that around a month after I moved up here in Rochester, so, yeah. Uh, and another book light. That's the box for the book light. These are cloths to clean screens and stuff like that. And that's my Red Hot Chili Peppers air freshener, which I didn't open yet. I don't plan on opening anytime soon. Top shelf just has a Budweiser cup, which I got on Christmas two, two years ago. And some of my CDs. Obviously, the rest is in storage, or, which I have to get that out eventually. Those are screen cleaners that go with the cloths. Yep, that's my book shelf or bookcase or whatever, finally. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to do one last video of the stuff that I got at the concerts. And, yeah, I think that should be it. Peace.